So I get a lot of questions about how to prepare for medical school, how to know if medicine is right for you, how to do well in pre-med classes, how to get the best application for medical school. It can be a little overwhelming. So I thought I would make a video about how to get into medical school, or at least some tips that should help. Maybe the best place to start would be my story and how I got into medical school. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri in the United States, and I went to a competitive private high school, but that's not required. The most important part of your medical school journey is confirming that you actually want to be a doctor. So how do you decide that? There are many ways, but the most important thing is to Get medical experience. What do I mean by this? I know we can't all volunteer in clinics saving lives left and right as a high schooler, so there's gotta be some sort of middle ground. You have to be a little bit creative. Maybe start by shadowing a doctor to see what the day-to-day -day life is like. I had a little bit of a leg up in this because my dad's a doctor. I worked in his office and shadowed some of his med school friends, an OBGYN, an ophthalmologist, but you don't have to have a family member who's a doctor. You can start with your pediatrician. Hopefully you all should have a pediatrician that you know. Talk to them, see if you can shadow them or see if they have any medical school doctor friends that you can shadow. Once you spend a day or two shadowing a doctor, I would recommend looking into volunteer experiences or work experiences in the medical realm. Why is that? One, because it's good to get a variety of experiences and two, shadowing can get really boring. You're just standing around watching the same thing over and over for the whole day. Don't let that discourage you if you don't really like shadowing. Try to find an active volunteer or work experience in the medical field. You can volunteer at a local nursing home, volunteer as a transporter at a local hospital, volunteer at a summer camp for kids with special medical needs. I personally volunteered at at a nursing home where I spent an hour a week talking with an elderly gentleman who didn't really have any family in the area. We just chatted about whatever we wanted to talk about. I also work for the medical records department in a little clinic in a hospital near me. It's important that your experiences are good in terms of quality and quantity. Anyone can do any activity for a day or two. Medical schools want to see that you picked an activity, stuck with it, and maybe learned something from it. You should aim to spend weeks or months with a given activity, unless it's bad or you're not getting anything from it. You want to get an idea of if this interests you, if it excites you, if you can see yourself doing something like this or in the realm of medicine in the future. You don't want to commit to 12 years of studying only to find out that you don't really like medicine. And medical schools don't want that either. Medical schools want you to be aware of the commitment that you're making. It's not enough to simply do well in school. You need more than good grades. Unfortunately, that's just the bare minimum and really not even that. In some ways that's good because then grades are not everything. You don't have to get all A's, you can get a B, you can even get a C as long as you have a strong application in other dimensions. People also ask me about research. Research is not make or break for applying to medical school. You don't have to have research experience to get in. It's a way you can stand out and a way that you can make up for other areas of your application that might not be as strong, like that C we were talking about before. So where do you find research? Start with classes that you're taking in college or high school if you have a really intense high school. I was in a psychology class I really liked. I approached the professor after class and asked if he had any research projects that I could help with. And within a month or two, I was in his lab attaching EEG leads to patients' heads and learning about how attention works. I didn't do any hard science research, any bench research, any lab research, but some of my med school classmates had, and some of them hadn't done any research at all. I would recommend looking into it, but you shouldn't force anything that isn't there. If you're not doing research, you could also use that time to do an extra volunteer activity, do a job, join a club. Now I've listed a lot of different elements to med school applications. Grades, volunteer experiences, shadowing experiences, work experience, research. Research. It's overwhelming and it's hard to find time to do it all. Even if you know you want to do medicine from the day you step foot into your college campus, sometimes you can't do it all within the four years of college and that's okay. Taking a year off or two years off or three years off between college and medical school is becoming more and more common. At certain medical schools, it's almost expected or it's more common than not to have taken time off. What's important is how you spend that gap year between college and medical school, doing these sorts of activities that I've been hinting at. And since you won't have classes, you can even be more involved in these volunteer activities, work activities, research activities. Your job is to confirm to yourself and the programs that you're going to be applying to that medicine is right for you and that that's what you want to do. So I went to Northwestern University. I majored in biology and psychology. I volunteered at a nursing home. I worked in my dad's office during the summers. I volunteered in a medical records office. I did research in the psychology department. No publications or anything like that though. I participated in a comedy sketch group and I did a lot of intramural sports, especially ultimate frisbee. And then I ended up applying to 16 medical schools. I got interviews at four of them and I got accepted at three of them and I ended up at the University of Missouri. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment below if you have any other topics you want me to discuss or anything you didn't understand and want me to go into more detail on.